So, you've written an article, a poem, a song, and now you want to know, how do I copyright it? Welcome to the Beginner's Guide to Copyright by Alicia Lynam Bowen. This guide is licensed under Creative Commons License 4.0. Copyright, as defined by the Oxford English Dictionary, is the exclusive right given by law for a certain term of years to an author, composer, designer, etc., or his assignee to print, publish, and sell copies of his original work. Copyright law can be and it is different for each country. However, copyright as a concept is quite simple. It protects your own rights to your own work and gives you a say in what happens or doesn't happen to that work. Copyright protects works that are original. That can include your article, your poem, your song, or your painting, and it can also include computer software and the blueprints to your home. Copyright in most countries begins when you write down, type, or record your work in a fixed medium. Merely having a thought or song lyrics in your head does not grant copyright. You have to write them down or record them for copyright law to kick into gear. And while most countries allow you to register your copyright with a federal office, that is merely for added protections. You own the copyright of all of your original creations, whether you ever pursue the more legal avenues or not. Copyright does not, however, cover concepts, ideas, systems, or methods of doing something. Your grandmother's recipe that you jotted down on a note card can't be copyrighted, but a book of recipes that you curated and paired with commentary can be. Your band name can't be copyrighted, but it may qualify for trademark. Trademarks and patents are other ways of declaring ownership of information, though different rules and laws apply to them as well. Copyright does allow for a few exceptions as well. Educational institutions, libraries, and reviewers make good use of the fair use clause and persons with disabilities can have works reprinted or reformatted in ways that make them accessible. But what about the film Pride and Prejudice? Or the other film Pride and Prejudice? Or Bride and Prejudice? Or even Bridget Jones's Diary? Can they have copyright over their film even though it is based on Jane Austen's original work? In a word, yes. Copyright applies to the original work but there is enough flexibility within it to allow for adaptations, if those adaptations contribute enough original material. And while Focus Films may have copyright over their screenplay for the Kira Knightley-led version of Pride and Prejudice, Focus Features cannot claim a copyright over Jane Austen's Pride and Prejudice. In fact, no one can now claim copyright, at least in the U.S., over Jane Austen's Pride and Prejudice, or, as of this year, F. Scott Fitzgerald's The Great Gatsby, because these works were published before 1926 and are in the public domain. The public domain is where works go when copyrights can no longer be claimed over them, or works that have been purposely given to the public domain by their creators. Surprise, surprise, Creative Commons has a license for that. The public domain is a rich resource for creative minds to build upon the previous work of prior centuries without having to obtain permission from the author. Shakespeare's plays probably would not have been adapted into film hundreds of times if the filmmakers had to purchase the rights each time. When you feel the need to draw on the work of others, look to the public domain. And if you write an original song from the perspective of Kathy in Wuthering Heights or paint a picture of Moriarty from Sherlock Holmes, own that copyright with pride. But remember, you can't claim Wuthering Heights or Sherlock Holmes or Benedict Cumberbatch as your own creation. So go forth and create, and most importantly of all, do unto others copyrights as you would have them do unto yours.